Hi everyone, it's Andrea here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video review of a new book that's only just came out. It came out yesterday and it's this one and it's called The Battered Body Beneath the Flagstones and Other Victorian Scandals and it's by British author Michelle Morgan. Now, Victorian history. We all know the Victorians were uptight, right? You know, they didn't talk about sex. They covered the piano legs so that men wouldn't get sexually excited by seeing the ankles of the piano. And, you know, they were very purient, very, very straight laced. Actually, not completely true. They were, just like every other, uh, other um, time period, the same as us. And they were into sex, they were into drugs, and they were into blood and gore and scandal by the dozen. So in this book, Michelle Morgan, um, she investigates several scandals, some quite in depth, some very short. Uh, and there are three sections, a fine line between love and hate, don't put your daughter or son on the stage, and scandals to amuse, bemuse or perplex. So the battered body of the title appears in the first section. Um, a fine line between love and hate, and it's your usual man, woman, affair, sex, scandal, and murder. Um, and then you've got the very famous case of William Terrace, who was a very, very successful actor in the Victorian era, who was murdered outside the Adelphi, I think it was the Adelphi Theatre. Yeah, outside the stage of the Adelphi Theatre by a another actor who you could technically call him a stalker because he did kind of stalk William Terrace um, but he blamed William Terrace for the failure of his own career even though it wasn't William's fault it was his own fault he wasn't a very good actor whereas William Terrace was a very good kind man and also very 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 talented and very beloved um, but this guy was crazy and yeah he would be considered crazy he would be a stalker by today's um, uh, I can't even think of the word, I'm not with it, um, it by today's terms. Very much like um, the case of John Lennon and Mark Chapman. Really, really was. Um, fascinating information. Now all the information in, in this book is in the public records. I could probably go and find this out myself but fortunately I don't have to. I'm far too lazy to do that. So I've got this and Michelle Morgan's done all the work for me. Thank you. Heavens for Michelle, that's all I'm going to say. Um, well written in her usual style in which that she doesn't, although it's full of scandals because that's the name of the book, she doesn't put her own personal opinions across all the scandals. She might interject a little bit about um, certain things about how we would react if that happened now rather than then, um, but she doesn't really go off on one. Um, and making the scandals worse than they are. She just reports the facts as they were known at the time. And that is what makes Michelle's book so good. Rather than dwell on the gore and scandal, although it is full of gore and scandal, and make it worse by interjecting her own feelings, she just tells us the facts. This is the way she's worked with her Madonna book, her Marilyn book, her Carol Lombard book, her Thelma Todd book. At no point does she um, go through the salacious and the rumour mill. She may state the rumours but she will also say whether or not there's any facts to back those rumours up. So this book came out um, on the 12th of April. It's a recommended retail price is 18 99 Obviously if you get it from somewhere like Amazon it's going to be a fair bit cheaper. It's just so, so fascinating. Um, for those of you who uh, insist you cannot have anything Victorian without without Jack the Ripper, there is a nod to Jack the Ripper in here. There is um, the story of a woman who believes she, or believed she may well have been another victim of Jack the Ripper, but she got away and was not killed. Uh, some of the circumstances were quite similar to the way the Ripper killed people, though she did manage to survive. Um, yeah, it makes me want to delve into my own family history to see if there's any scandals there. Um, and on, on that note, uh, Michelle's actually included one story in the final section, which was Scandals to Amuse, Reviews or Perplex, which actually involved a member of her own family. One of her own ancestors makes it into this book. Um, the ones at the, the end, they're quite, they're very short, 
they're quite sometimes they're very amusing because you just can't believe what these Victorians got up to but all in all it's another well written book from Michelle Morgan one that belongs on your true crime and scandal shelf or in your Mar or in your Michelle Morgan collection she's getting to be quite a prolific writer she has another book coming out in May which we'll talk about in another video <laughs> I know uh, but it's a beautiful and, and just look at this cover it's beautifully designed now it's what we call a naked hardcover there's no dust jacket on it it's got these beautiful they're actually sort of maroon end pages but on the camera it looks red but they're more maroon than red um so it's beautiful hardback with the victorian gas lamp or oh, it's actually it's a candle in that lamp and the crow on it beautiful typeface gorgeous gorgeous is that the right way up yeah um spine it's going to stand out on your shelf so it's sort of like almost faded gold writing and all the information on the back published by robinson little brown robinson there is an also an audiobook available as well as the kindle i believe there's definitely an audiobook available on this if you wanted to listen to it rather than read it one of the good things about this book is because it's that it's done in sections and then there are titles as well so for instance if we go to the first section a fine line between love and hate um there's a little introduction to the section and then the first one's the battered body beneath the flagstones and you can read that one's quite a long one you could just oh i'll just read this one you'll read that one oh, i need a break from that that was quite quite intense you can go away pop your marker in it or just say right i've read i know i've read the first one and then you can come to the next one which is uh the dreadful blackpool tragedy is is another one so they've got a separate title so it doesn't all run into one so if you just want to read one scandal then take a break um and dip into it that way you can uh, i'm actually going to pass this now to my partner paul who is looking forward to very much to reading this he's the sort of reader who will dip in and read one take a break dip in read another take a break and so on whereas i just read it uh, but i would totally recommend this book if you like true crime it's very good it's, it's beautiful it's a beautiful edition well worth a spot on your bookshelf so that is the battered body beneath the flagstones and other victorian scandals by michelle morgan it's out now go and get it if you like a true crime it's well worth picking up that's all from me on this review i will be back soon with some more bookish videos i hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to leave me a comment if you've read this let me know what you think i know it's really new but uh, you know let me know if you're gonna pick it up and let me then when you've read it let me know what you think i would love to know um but yeah and i will see you all soon so bye now